It's been 800 days since Nintendo mentioned Metroid Prime 4, guys. So I went on Reddit today to see, uh, you know, to see what was going on. I usually uh, see a few subreddits, the gaming one, the Nintendo Switch one, and the PS4 one. So I saw, I saw this very interesting topic. It's actually the top comment uh, on the N Nintendo Switch subreddit. And it's basically, you know, they say that it's been 800 days since the last official mention of Metroid Prime 4. So if my math is not that bad, that's close to two years and a half or perhaps like closer to the, you know, to the third three years, which is pretty embarrassing, to be honest. Myself, just as many other people were pretty excited to, you know, to hear about Metroid Prime 4. I thought Metroid Prime, the, the first one was amazing. The atmosphere, uh, the game overall was like a very... Um, great experience for me i never played a game like that before you know which combine uh first person shooting and exploration like well done um so yeah it's you know a metric prime two and three where uh i to be honest with you i did not play those so i was looking forward to play the metric prime collection on the nintendo switch but even that we still haven't gotten it so that's really sad you know to from Nintendo to not for them to not release like these type of games that people want, and people want them, you know. But they they have no problem at all charging you sixty dollars for the Wind Waker, <laughs> which is a game from the same era, from two thousand three, or or so on. Um, so that's why that's why you know a lot of you guys I know a lot of you guys think that like I'm a, I'm a big Nintendo hater, but to be honest, I think they deserve the the hate and the. You know, just look at that. That's the top. That's the top uh, topic on the on the Nintendo Switch subreddit. So it's not just only me. It's a, a lot of people that think logically, and a lot of those people, you know, they, you know, they're like they're starting to see what Nintendo really is. And usually, I wouldn't say that. You know, like that. I wouldn't like defend. I would defend Nintendo even, but right now, there's there has they haven't announced like any like triple a games at all so it's really sad from them to you know people to not even mention metric prime 4 so hopefully that gets uh, nintendo's attention and they release like a trailer or something like really soon i remember even like uh a year or like months ago they were like still looking for like developers they were like still hiring that's embarrassing <laughs> i mean this is a, like a multi-million dollar company and you're like, you know, they're like searching for workers online and like, you know, people are, people think it's like, oh, you know, like, oh, Nintendo's like hiring like developers. That's embarrassing, <laughs> to be honest. But that's what you guys allow. You allow these companies to basically, you know, uh, run laps around you guys. So that's what you guys get. I mean, I'm happy with my Switch, but I'm, I'm more happy that, that I have my PS4 because... Um, the PS4 hasn't disappointed me at all, you know. I have like a huge backlog. We got FF7 last uh, last month for Plus, and for this month we're getting Days Gone. So my backlog is just getting bigger and bigger. So, and that's for twenty seven dollars a month because I never buy the the full price for the Plus. So you guys keep enjoying your Nintendo Switch if you guys are only Nintendo Switch owners so otherwise you know i'll definitely recommend that you guys start saving for a ps5 so yeah i just wanted to say that for today guys thank you have a good one bye bye